Admiral, it's good to see you again, sir. It's been too long. And so it is, yes, yes. How are you, sir? Why? I want to lie. God damn it, Bill. I'm supposed to be in California. No, no, sir. This is California. Well, got to run. Good luck. I'm... But, sir, this is your command. Sleepy Weasel has been on the drawing board for 10 months. The president handpicked you. Yeah, damn right he did. No stopping us now, Ted. Why don't I show you your offices and I can bring you up to date? Uh, you've always been a fine soldier, Scott. Just lead the way. Oh, good God. I got a pee. And the better part of my bladder blown off the Guadalcanal. Watch your step, sir. There's a lot of obstructions here in the tarmac. Every aerial photo and recon report indicate a defensive arsenal in the D and perhaps negative C categories. There's also a nest of anti-aircraft and Nagajina squadrons. They can send up an ACAC umbrella high enough to make any attack ineffective. I don't have a clue what you're talking about, Phil. Not a fucking clue. I have a shell the size of a fist in my head. Pork chop hill. The only way I can get this goddamn tube to stay on is by magnetizing the entire upper left quadrant of my skull. So you just go ahead and do what you do. You have any soup? Of course, sir. I'll uh, have the mess bring something right up. I love soup. I mean, I think I love soup. So I'm a bitch and shell. It's either soup or duck. Which one do you shoot? Duck, sir. Are you all right, sir? Of course I'm all right. Why? What have you heard? Nothing, sir. Yeah, send some soup up for the Admiral on the double. Ah, let's go over this slippery weevil one more time. I want to familiarize myself with it as much as I possibly can, so... Give it to me, Ben. Every word, every detail. Dot every comma. Attention on deck. At ease, Ben. Hmm. Be seated. Uh, many of you are wondering what's wrong with my pants. Well, they started running short of material right before they got to the knees, so well, don't give me any shit. Now, I look out there at all of you wonderful guys, and I say to myself, what I wouldn't give to be 20 years younger and a woman. You know, I've personally flown over 194 missions, and I was shot down every one. <laughs> Come to think of it, I've never landed a plane in my life. Adieu. Notes. Jump squadron, start your engines. God, that's loud. My air canals are very sensitive. They're stainless steel. Took a bullet at Corregidor. Passed straight through. Here, look at this. Huh? We have these to hold down the sound, sir. Oh, good. Thanks. Let's hope they do the trick. Give me the mic, boy. Oh, for the love of God, man, be careful. Ever since Normandy, this is corny wear, for Christ's sake. Chopin' Jesus, they're back. Chopin' people, take cover! Hit the dirt! Bad right! Cover me! Battle stations! Battle stations! Have they no respect for the dead? I love a good funeral. <laughs> now, read that back to me, Francine. And if you ever put your goddamn hands on my wife again, I will. You wanted to see me, sir? Oh, Blank, come on in. Been expecting someone. That'll be all, Francine. Yes, sir. Pudding? No, thank you, sir. I'll put this to you straight, Colonel. Thompson's death was a shock to us all, and that hotshot Harley is responsible. Now, I want that smirking little wise ass out of here. The morale in this base is shot to hell. Just look out there. Quiet. No, hardly a man moving. Roy? Roy! Yeah. Huh? I even went to school with that man. He's just not the same. Been ignoring me all day. Remind me to send him a note. Sir, may I say something? I have no doubt that Harley acted irresponsibly. But his kind lives on the edge, always willing to take a chance. Now, we need Topper for this mission for just that reason. I like your thinking, Colonel. Besides, it didn't mean Thompson wasn't all that good a pilot anyway. You only have a small family. The kids are a pain in the ass. Wife's on the sauce hell. We'll pass it better off dead. What size shoes do you have? A nine, sir. Good. It's settled in. We'll send Harry to the front. Oh, by the way, I want to thank you for having us over to dinner the other night. 
Cheryl and I thought the stroking up was marvelous. But, sir, we didn't have dinner the other night. Really? Where the hell was I? And who's this Cheryl? Ah, doesn't matter. Run along, Sid. Open sea. Oh, God, wish you could smell. I had my nostrils fried in Parmesan. Admiral Benson, I want you to meet Mr. Wilson and Mr. Rosner from Rockman Aviation. They'll be observing the operation. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, I'm all right, no problem. I slipped in a crab. Who put that crab there? Crab? I didn't see any crab. Don't tell me. There were two crabs. They work in pairs. I went to Annapolis, for Christ's sake. From the Pentagon, sir. We just decoded it. Oh, good. Here, help me with this. My eyes are ceramic. A bazooka round, a little big one. Oh, where's it, Okinawa? The one without the Indians. It's the final orders. We strike tomorrow at 0600. Excellent. Wake me up at 0530. Be seated. Oh. Well, gentlemen, we've waited a long time to hear this. In exactly five hours and 17 minutes, we hit the enemy toast. I think that's the enemy coast, sir. Huh? Coast? I'll take a little more planning, but it doesn't matter. Now, our assignment is to knock out the nuclear weapons plant at Falafel Heights. The plant goes online in 12 hours and is heavily defended. Now, if you have trouble hitting your objective, your secondary targets are here and here. An accordion factory and a mime school. Good luck, gentlemen. Blink, take over. Oh, there's one more thing. Never mind, I'll get that. It's probably for me. Oh. Holy cow. My cap blew off. Swing around, we we'll pick it up. But, sir, we're on the mission. Good thinking. Yeah, we we'll pick it up on the way back. We gotta mark the spot, though. Put Rabinowitz in a life raft, have him row in circles until we return. It could be days. Then put some food in the life raft. For God's sake, man, do I have to think of everything? We'll tape his favorite shows. He won't miss anything. Sir, there's no time. OK, OK. How can I be an admiral without my cap? It's out there somewhere all alone. I'm here powerless to do anything about it. It appears we have unidentified radar contacts. Looks like enemy aircraft at 12 o'clock. Really? 12 o'clock? Well, that gives us about uh, 25 minutes. I think I'll step out for a burger. Oh, no, you don't. Admiral, I will just... dare call yourself an American? Well, that gets my panties in a bunch. It's scum like you that put a taint in our military. You don't know what you're talking about. Hell, I don't. You risk the lives of some damn fine pilots. Well, that's my job. I think I'm wearing your pants. Despite this current crisis, the president is putting on his best political face. Continuing on his campaign schedule, Benson's 20-point lead in the poll six months ago has plummeted since the hostage crisis began. The CNN Victoria's Secret catalog poll now has the president and Edwards running neck and neck. This afternoon, Benson made a brief stop in Fergus Falls, Virginia, for the groundbreaking of his presidential library. The Sabotage. My God, man, what does it mean? We have to tighten security, sir. Find out who's behind it. No, no, no. The word, sabotage, what does it mean? It means someone's trying to subvert our mission, sir. One of our own people could be working with the enemy. Huh. Come in. Mr. President. No! Oh, Jesus, don't you ever, ever sneak up on me like that again. What is it, Bob? If Edwards gets wind of this, he'll use it against you in the campaign. He'll try to prove that you're incompetent. I can prove that as well as he can. Mr. President, the CIA can't afford another failure. We want to send Colonel Walters to get our people out. And to ensure the mission's success, we'll need Topper Harley. We think we've located him in the Far East. Topper Harley. We've served together before, sir. There's no one better. Cookie. Not me, sir. Young lady, 
No, thank you. No, no, I was just offering him a young lady. Oh, yeah, Topper Harley. Right, good. I love the boy. Kids got guts. Why, there isn't a fighting man on this planet. They can... Gotcha. Listen, get the door, huh? Uh, well, Walters, looks like we've got our saboteur. That's your wife, sir. Huh? Yeah, so it is. Yeah, come in here. Yeah, you're looking as lovely as the day we met. Uh, I know what she knows. As for you, get me Topper Harley. President of the United States, Thomas Benson. Mr. President, this is Prime Minister Masahiro Soto and Mrs. Soto. Ah, uh, President Benson, where is your first lady? My first lady? Hell, I don't know. I've had a lot of women. Lost my flower at the tender age of 15. I can't keep track of all of them. Let's get this over with. Not feeling so well today. My intestines were removed during action in the North Atlantic. It took a torpedo in the lower abdomen and they replaced every foot of my bowel with hemp. Clogs easily. I hope you feel better. Oh, my lips to yours. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we put election politics aside as I join you in my duties as Majority Whip and Chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee in welcoming the Japanese Prime Minister and his lovely wife to these United States. Our two great nations have begun what we hope will be a long and not only economically, huh. not I don't remember reading that. I feel better now, thank you. It's that raw fish odor that makes... Oh, God. Those my teeth. Yeah. Huh. Filthy. And so, I would like to propose a toast. Oh, thank you, Yogo. I'll take that, sir. To world peace. Oh. To a clean environment. <clears throat> to harmony with our planet and world prosperity. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Prime Minister Tojo, Senator Edwards, my fellow Americans, and our millions of illegal aliens. It seems like only yesterday I was strafing so many of your homes. Here I am today begging you not to make such good cars. Uh, excuse me, just a second. Need a glass of water. Damn tongue's gone dry. It's not mine, you know. No, I lost mine in Laos. A little comic kid lopped it right off. Probably a doorstop somewhere for all I know. Got this one from a basset hound. Get the car. President Benson. No, you're not. Seen him on television. He's an older man, about my height. Sir, this is Topper Harley. Topper, yes, of course. Son I never had. Well, no damn wonder I didn't recognize you then, huh? But a word of advice. Don't go around calling yourself president. I wouldn't do that, and I don't think you should either. It just doesn't hold water. Uh, for that matter, neither do I. Just get away from these power cables, huh? Sir, I'd like to join the next mission. Oh, God bless you, boy. But we're keeping this one on the QT. We're calling it secret mission to go in and get Walters and our boys back. And son, when you come back, I'm going to throw you wonderful guys a party the likes of which you've never seen. And there should be plenty to eat. I doubt if more than half of you will return. And in other news, President Benson is returning to Washington today to speak to the nation no. in what experts are calling the pivotal address of his political career. Oh. How was the speech coming, sir? Huh? Oh, I'm back to my A's. Does this look like an A to you? Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> what do you got there, Bill? We just received word from Michelle Huddleston. Topper Harley is missing. His boat has been demolished. Oh, damn it! Oh! Every time I give an order, things get screwed up. Plan a reception, they bring the wrong hors d'oeuvres. Point an ambassador, the next thing you know, he leaves the country. Now it is. Mr. President, we need a plan. This may be our last chance to get the hostages out. All right. Now, here's where we are, and here is where oh, they are. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, no time for prayer, Bob. Now, here's the target area. It's Minnesota, sir. Oh, damn it, man. That's the genius of my plan. 
We don't have to traipse all over the world to fight. We can do it right here at home. Get us some good fishing while we're at it. Sir, the enemy is over there. Then we'll fly them over here. They can bring their relatives. We'll teach them to ice skate. Do I have to think of everything? But, Mr. President, the hostages. It is imperative that you act now. coast. Oh, those bluffs look treacherous. I hadn't counted on that. But if God is on our side, we will rendezvous on Lincoln's Wart by noon. That's it, men. We're going in. My rescue mission was underway. But two things kept running through my mind. Would we get to the men in time? And why did I bring helium instead of air? We could hear gunfire from the compound. From out of nowhere, a patrol boat appeared overhead. How would we get past the soldiers on that boat? Then, suddenly, it happened. Mr. President, Thumper and Thuck attack! Looks like the upper hand is on the other foot, Sodom. Uh, ah! uh oh! Yeah. Redskins made of asbestos. Tanning pile of action at Dianbian Foo. Go on about your business, son. I've got a bone to settle with this guy. Yes, sir. I'll get Dexter. Let's make this a fair fight. Lost you. Lost me, huh? Not a chance. I shove over you guys. I got dibs in the window seat.